I think 547 will be done. 547 is a good <laughs> estimate. 815 tonight, we'll be out here finishing. <laughs> oh, landscape. Oh, finish is finished, Brian. <laughs> so it's 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about your 546 finish time? Um, it, it's getting uh, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> So now we can start moving all the rocks into the pond, start shaping that out. We've got to build some walls to hold up the liner against the actual patio. And then these stack slate walls are going to go in, in this near side here to create this edge. And we're going to do some aquatic planting in there. So we're going to finish. Right now what we're doing is we're rocking in the bottom shelf. We always rock from the bottom up. So we'll get this thing rocked in and then shelf up, shelf up. And then we'll start doing all of our edge treatments. So it's important that we get all this. Get it all this. Oh, that. oh my gosh! Did you get that? Yeah, well, I, just I got jumped the, over the. I got oh. the end of it. I just saw those rocks. Just we, got, we got to check for a hole. We got a possible hole in the liner situation. How was it, Brian? That's good. It's more with a bucket, Jack. Right Holy there. cow, dude! Is we good, Brian? Yeah. This is what Jupiter kids do. They don't wear shoes. We don't wear shoes anywhere. Yeah, this is out to Jupiter. public, out to yeah. dinner, until you have nine dinner, toes. You have to, yeah, but. until you lose a toe, right? Yeah. I mean, I have eight now, so. <laughs> <laughs> That EPDM liner is tough stuff. We just dropped a couple rocks in there. Paul almost got his toes crushed, but we're good. So I'm here with Paul, we've got the stack slate walls in, and behind me we've got a patio bowl that's gonna be nestled right up against the stack slate walls. The problem is where the bowl comes in, that top section of walls gotta come in and we're gonna have to cut it. So Paul is gonna be cutting this. Paul, what's your plan for cutting this? Uh, well, I've kinda sized it, so if you bring this over here, you can kinda see we're bringing above. You kinda line it up. We're gonna need to go to about this second line right here. So there's one line, the second line. Do you feel then, comfortable cutting this? I don't at all. No? No, not at all. So who's gonna help you? Brian has a trick on how to cut this without without ruining it. Brian, explain to us what's gonna happen. We're gonna cut it. Yeah, I know. Well, if you make I know that, I'm standing here. Okay. The people here don't know what's gonna happen. Follow me. The hardest thing is to mash the curve of this onto this. And it's a little tricky. So we'd rather cut this thing a little long and then shave whatever we need to. But if you take this and you literally just kind of with a, with a mark, here, uh -huh. you get a. Uh, we need a sharpie, and you follow, follow it like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as long as you're still staying at the uh -huh. same measurement away from the bowl, you can scribe a line uh -huh. on the slate wall, and then you're gonna make your cut. And what are you gonna use to cut it? Oh, so he's talking. Oh, so you're not gonna come out to here doing what you're thinking. No, you'll. Like yeah, so. you're just gonna go to like this first line. Yeah. So you'll take a sharpie to come down here. Right? I get what you mean. Yeah, you're not going to go nearly. And you'll go, you just follow that. Because if we cut really low here, it'll, it should slide right in there. We'll cut it big the first time. Yes. And then we'll just have to shave off a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So you're going to let Paul cu actually cut it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Like, this is all you. <coughs> so, Paul, if you screw this up, you have to live with it. All right. Yeah, I'm good with it. The man with the tool. <laughs> Eight dust. I drilled the hole so that we could put this guy, or I can zounder, right? Yes. Yep. And then inside that. And what's going to happen then? The pipe will run from the skimmer. The pump that I had in my old pump will pump the water through that pipe. And then it'll become a, too much, a wetlands filter from the bottom up. We'll plant rocks, gravel, and then plant it inside there. The water will be pouring out the two nodges that we slice off with that guy over there. 
Here's the pond progress so far. Chris is working on polishing up that edge. The bowl is in and plumbed. For Paul standing, we got all those stack slate walls. They're all ready to go. Brian and I carved out this last section of pond here where the fish can swim up underneath the waterfall. And that will be the waterfall section. So you got lights there, there, and along the wall. And then once we get this waterfall in, we'll do a lot more of the LEDs up it. Nice. I'm working on doing stepping stones going across. So who's right idea? Right here, right here, right here. Whose idea was that? Right? <laughs> Jack had this awesome idea of doing stepping stones oh, going across. I had such a good idea. Okay. So if we make this canal big enough, right? Mm -hmm. I should say like this, this, this canal, this body of water right here. If we were to make it big enough to put a stone in the middle to where the, the rock you step on is in the middle of the water. Sounds like something you said. <laughs> I'm only laughing because it's yeah, it's a, actually it's an awesome idea. Big yeah. enough to where it's like one's like one half in here, the water. One step here. Yep. One step exactly. here. Exactly. And then have like one good one right in the middle. Genius. Got a pond builder over here, right here. So it's four o'clock. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about your 5:46 finish time? Um, it, it's getting uh, really hard. <laughs> you know what happens? You know what happens when you spend 72 minutes. Working on that rock. <laughs> no, what happens is it's just hot. It's hot. It's just hot. And we've lost steam. We are gonna get this finished tonight. We'll finish. But we're gonna finish probably at the time that I initially <laughs> it said. Might be 815. Which was 815. Yeah. But we're still having fun, huh? Oh it's, yeah, it's, it's, guess I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul, even though we're behind right now as far as Brian's estimated time, how are you feeling about the way the pond's going? It is looking insane. I literally, I didn't even, first of all, when we dug the pond, I was, I dug the pond previously before you guys even arrived, uh, in a whole different shape. Greg told me to dig that shape, that's the shape I dug, and we have went out of that proportion and made it 30 times better than I dug it. What's, so, your, what's your favorite part so far? Right now, supposedly my favorite part right now is the wall and, oh gosh, the wall, then how the wall like meets that pot cut like that, that's my favorite part for now, but they said you'll like the waterfall better than that, so I have no idea. For now it's still that, that's for sure. If it rains up out of here, what does what what mean? All the rain and night light, so loud and clear. What does help you Hey Chris, give me a status update. So we are at six o'clock. I I think I think you and Brian <laughs> said something about five forty-six. I said 547 just to be. How close are we to finishing? Close. How do you feel about finish time now? What are you thinking? Are you thinking like 815 ish? 815 ish? I think I'm I'm leaning more towards her. I'm conceding at the moment to you. I knew it. I knew we weren't getting done at 546. Look how much work we have left to do. It's gonna be awesome, but uh I'm actually looking forward to the sun going down. Yes, me Nice too. and cool, because yep. it was super hot today. I don't know if we were ready for that. Your face is really red. Is it? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we got we got toast today. Hey, Bri, I just want to let you know um, your, your completion time yeah, yeah. is out of, blown out of the water. You know what I didn't factor in? Totally gone. Is all the video time that got used towards building. I, fa I factored that in, so. Oh, you did? Yeah, totally. Yeah, see, I'm not used to the vlogging stuff yet. Someday. But aren't, aren't you Team Aquascape? No. Yeah. I don't know. My name is my name's Brian. I'm pretty sure. No. That's Team Aquascape. <laughs> it is 8.47 p.m. and we have the waterfall running. It Woo! looks amazing. Brian is finishing up the lighting. We probably got what, Brian? How long? 15 minutes. How long? 27 minutes. <laughs> oh, he's got 15 minutes on the lighting. Chris is finishing up some edges. And Paul ran out to get some more gravel so that we can do, here he is. All right, Paul's hustling. He's gonna get the gravel down for the pathways. We're gonna finish up a couple odds and ends. And then we're gonna show you what this thing looks like. And actually we're gonna stop back tomorrow and we'll do a full reveal so you can see the whole thing really well. How much longer? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So Paul's parents have been inside the house all day long. They have not come out, not even once to look at what we're doing because first of all, Paul won't let them. He wanted to surprise them. So I know they're dying to come out here and look at this. So we're going to go get them now. All right, right there. I, right there. Oh, I thought you had a look there. Paul, you want to have a look there? No, no, no. I'll no, no, no. take her out right here. Paul, she walks right up to that path. Hey. All right, now go to the front of her, everyone. Ah, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Three, two, one. Oh, 
two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's like a resort. Go ahead, it's like walk paparazzi. up there. Oh. Come on. Go ahead, go oh my ahead. god! Holy! You guys are incredible. How did you pull this off? I'm shaking. <laughs> I can't wait to get thumped in here. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I can't believe you guys did this. You guys are like amazing. Unbelievable. Oh you guys gosh. are the best for sure. Well, the, you, oh. you guys, man. Oh, man. I love it. Thank you so much. It's, it's, this is crazy. This is like over the top. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Good morning, we're going to get it all. I you love see the one? <coughs> Well, you know I love. I'm big, 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 big. Look at all this stuff. It's amazing. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah. it's so I've never seen anything like it. So we just got in Paul's backyard this morning. Paul, you just woke up. Yeah, I literally just woke up. First time seeing your pond in the daylight. What are your thoughts? First of all, at night, I think every water feature looks better at night. But this thing it looks insane. It's absolutely crazy, and I couldn't have done it with anyone. Like this was a, a lot of people working hard yesterday it was a lot of work as you can see it pays off i was really excited to see the reaction of your mom last night when she came out because she did not know what it's going to look like yeah she didn't, didn't even know a single thing and your dad seemed like he was really enamored with yeah, it too my, my dad goes inside after when no one's there and he says what the hell <laughs> that's my backyard I came down here because um, after talking to Brian and watching some of Paul's stuff, I saw how passionate he was about building water features and fish keeping. And he just seemed like an all around great guy. And it turns out him and his family are just, they're super people. And this was a great experience for me. I got to see even his friends that came here to work on this project, all really great kids, hard workers. They have a, a super amount of passion for what they're doing. So for me, that just restored my faith in the youth of this country and what's possible for them in the future. So thanks guys for checking me out. Make sure you comment, like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Please more subscribers. Please <laughs> friends. <laughs> well, basically I saw um, in Paul myself at his age and uh, I didn't have anybody mentoring me. I had to figure it out all out through trial and error and that's exactly what he was doing. I mean, we only met in the end of January. What is it, mid-April now? And I've already spent uh, nine days visiting all these ponds in California. And, uh, you know, basically we hatched the plan to rebuild his water feature after spending that time in California visiting our customers. So for me to see a kid, just like I heard you saying about this restored your faith in humanity, it wasn't just Paul, it was all of his buddies and everybody else. This is what kids need to be doing. They need to be spending less time inside on Fortnite and electronic games and they need to spend more time in nature because this is a restorative healing process to be outside in nature. So now, not only does he have this for himself to enjoy, but for his mom to enjoy, his dad to enjoy, his friends to enjoy, this changed the space. They have Hawaii now in a very small backyard in a very typical neighborhood. And, uh, you know, they kept saying thank you, and I kept saying, you know, it's a labor of love, and it truly is. So I couldn't be more prouder of how it turned out. Uh, you know, when you finish a job after you've been working since uh, 8.22 at 8.45 at night, and you stay there till 11, hanging out with the customers, you know it was a good day. Hey, what's your issue with the skimmer? <laughs> My issue is the person I appointed to install it. They've disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know who this guy thinks he is appointing anybody to do anything. But apparently I'm responsible for the skimmer, so I better get to work.